Daria was just saying now it's easier to clean because so that I don't have to spend time on reorganizing things. And I saw all of your comments on my last video. Some of you guys are doubting me, telling me to sell my books, telling me I need to get rid of all my shoes. I have a plan, guys, and I'm going to wow you. Some of you, though, you believe in me, and I appreciate that. But stay tuned. I have a plan, and you're going to be amazed. Um, apologies if I already shared this project spotlight. <laughs> I got the moving brain, but I love a good TSD project spotlight that shows a practically and very realistic organization of a closet. It looks so good. And if you want to share any of your projects with me, you can tag me at the suitcase designer on Instagram. We are back for the last episode with my friend Daria. You can catch her whole series on the playlist section of the channel. Now, Something I don't know if I said in the beginning, but she didn't ask me to come to her house. I volunteered for the job because friends don't let friends be unorganized. So I came over by my own free will. No one was forcing me. We are starting in her medicine cabinet. Last time we didn't have any bins and she got these in the mail and we think they're going to work. So we're just organizing all of her medicine and this is something that she is leading because she knows what her family's needs are especially with medicine just let the moms do that they know what's best so I'm just asking her what I should label these containers as and I'm letting her really be the boss unfortunately with these containers that Daria found they don't fit in the cabinets and we have not been able to find anything in the style that we're wanting to fit in the particular cabinets in Korea that we're working with so we're gonna make these work as best we can today but unfortunately it's gonna be a little bit tricky until we can find the perfect one so right now we're just awkwardly stacking it on top of each other because we need to get another riser but that will come later but the rest of this shelf that you guys have seen to the left of the fridge, it's working for her. That's an apron that's sitting there, but it's working, so we're going to keep it. And now moving on to all of the drawers. I am so excited to tackle these because it looks like it's a lot of stuff, but I think once you get it out, we're going to find that we actually have a lot of extra space. So we're going to start by creating that true house tornado and taking every single thing out of the drawer because we need to clean them and we need to reassess what we actually need to go into the drawer we're going to thoughtfully organize it so that it makes sense for her family and their cooking needs especially in an international kitchen you don't know what needs other people have which i learned a lot in this episode so just let them tell you what to do Look, we're already getting so much stuff out, realizing that a lot of stuff didn't need to be there in the first place, and we're organizing it simply so that it works for her family. And now moving on to the next one. We're continuing to remove everything out of here, and the medicine was something that she preferred to keep up higher, and she wanted it to have she wanted to have easy access to it every morning, so luckily the drawer was deep enough and we could put them in there. Genius. All right next drawer we're just going to keep dumping because why not sometimes it's just really satisfying to make a whole pile of stuff and then to put it all back beautifully and you just sigh a little deeper all right we're going through all of those little things that tend to end up in the bottom of the drawer like rubber bands and weird toothpicks and cute toothpicks and all the kinds of toothpicks that you could ever imagine so now we've created a complete disaster and it's time to put everything back. So we're going to go through and just ask ourselves what would make the most sense to be in the store. What does she use most often? And we thought, ah, this is great for gloves because if you live in Korea, you'll understand the gloves and the rice action. So we have that going on. You can see there's like Ziplocs. There's all kinds of stuff. These are for Jumukbops. <laughs> shout out to my favorite dish that's probably meant for a child but I love it uh, so there's jumukbap cookie cutters for the kids which is great because this is at a perfect height for them to just put their hand in there there's gloves for the kids too whenever they're making their rice balls of all spaces in the house I feel like this particular drawer with ziplocs and foil and all that kind of shit this is the one that is truly a major game of tetris and you just have to make it work because we were able to organize, we freed up an entire side, which I know we're probably going to go back and need later. So the last drawer, uh, we just 
put it back together like that. That's cutlery that you get from takeout or delivery service here. We have aprons and kind of miscellaneous objects down there. And then, and we have this other door under the rice cooker that was just housing a bunch of remotes. We thought we could put those in a better space and use this for more cleaning and you know, lint rollers, whatever type of cleaning that is. Meanwhile, Daria's in the corner reminding us all why we hate corner cabinets. We are behind the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> they just got shoved in there. So this is a good idea that we should not hide anything back there that's small. You and I check what we need to do. So this one is, we're good here. I told you guys, we're flying through this makeover today. Finish cabinet number one. This, these two are good. This will go up there later, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. This cabinet was working for her, so we didn't change it. Finished? Yeah. And this back cabinet, the corner one, we decided that it was best if we just make this kind of a utility shelf area and fill it with things that she rarely uses because it's such an awkward cabinet and things are prone to get lost. We're just trying to make the best use of these corner shelves for her. Okay. And this was one of the shelves from the previous days that we did, and it's still working for her, which makes me so happy. So that one's oh, good. And, and I'm happy to report back, this is also working for her. This one finished. This drawer is now usable for her, and we have things like vitamins that are easy for her to access, and she's just gonna feel good when she opens it. That one's very nice. This drawer is equally as beautiful. And this one too. Mm -hmm. And I'm the space maker, so of course we have a little free space in there. And last of the drawers, we have this beautiful piece of art. And now back to the food storage that we roughly organized the last time I was there. We're going to pull out some of this medicine and put it next to the left of the kimchi fridge, right up here. It makes more sense because she doesn't need them very often. And we're going to try and reorganize all of our food storage. But unfortunately, <laughs> the baskets just aren't working. And we looked everywhere and we couldn't find them. So, um... We just decided the best thing to do is to go ahead and start organizing them today, but use what we have. And once she finds something that will work in her cabinet, then she can go back and put it together how she wants. But we're gonna go ahead and do our best with what we have today. It looks so much better. High containers. High containers, High yeah. High containers are really much better. Key. Take advantage of because all the vertical space. All the, all the space here and all the snacks spreading over there. Yeah. So these are just temporary until the mystery is solved and we can find the right organizers. Sometimes you're not going to find the perfect organizers for your cabinets, but you just do the best with what you have. And you know, this still is a night and day difference of what she was working with when I first got there. They might not be the most beautiful baskets in the world, but they work and they're serving their purpose, which is keeping her more organized in her food section. So I think it turned out quite well considering our limitations. And then this was the breakfast shelf that also looks really good. And this is the one that we still need better tea storage for as well. I'm um, okay. You know what to do next? Mm. Like you're gonna find Clean. organizers? <laughs> Clean it. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm going the right to organizers. Get nice organizers to finish and get. And it's the kind of organized for you, right? Yeah, it's already organized. I just need to change the color and to get it. Yeah. Look at more neat and. Because uh, you're a long-term life, yeah. a long-term liver in the house, so you might as well invest. Yeah. And look, it's just so much emptier. Daria was just saying now it's easier to clean because I know that I don't have to spend time on reorganizing things I just take uh, the clothes and swipe and then and put it back right where it goes it's so easy just new fancy uh, organizers that's that will look good and the bamboo ones for the tea shelf I like where we're ending the makeover for Daria because though we're not completely finished she has a good idea of what we need to do next. But most importantly, it's doable. And what Daria was saying is that she used to spend a lot of time in her house 
time that she didn't have trying to reorganize everything and it just never felt like anything was working and now we've created a system for her so that she can spend less time organizing and more time putting things back where they go so that it's easier for her and that was the point of this makeover was to help a stressed out mom contain the chaos so that she can find a calmness in her mind because she is the mom of two little boys so I hope you guys enjoyed the makeover series we will be back soon with more. Thanks for watching.